Hi friends, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and we're gonna be painting a cute little bunny head shape. This is a 12 inch size and it's so cute. We're gonna be painting it with black and white stripes and flowers. I do. Um, this is quarter inch MDF. That's what all of my designs are cut from and this one is a 12 inch size. So technically it's not really door hanger size but I thought it was a nice size project for a quick little live. Um, I already have some white paint here. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be painting this and it's it's great for like a porch sign attachment, a wreath attachment, um, maybe a child size bedroom door or an office door or something like that. So um, there's just a variety of different things you could use it for. So I'm just using a flat tip brush. Check out these brushes I got at Hobby Lobby. They look like a mermaid tail. Very cool, huh? Um, I found those in a stash. I had bought them a while back, I think, and I just found them the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint this entire thing white to start with. I don't normally do that on most of my door hangers that I paint, but most of this design is gonna have white with like black stripes or something on it. So it's almost just easier, instead of just painting around everything sometimes, to just paint the whole thing white and then start. Um, also, the insides of our ears are gonna be a light pink, and so that'll be kinda like a nice little base coat for that color. And then our flowers will be a nice, um, maybe pink and purple, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to decide on the flower colors in a few minutes. And now we're gonna make our stripes. So you can use painter's tape if you like, you can use a ruler, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna use a ruler and I'm gonna eyeball it and just draw my stripes on here. I'm gonna make them just a little wider than my actual ruler. So this is gonna be a little bit of a modern bunny. He's gonna have black stripes. So um, I always like to, so you know I drew my stripes this way. I always like to rotate my door hanger or whatever I'm painting so that the stripes are facing me this way. That way when I'm pulling my brush, I'm coming toward my body. That always helps me control my brush. I don't know why it is, but it always helps. And then of course I've got my wrist and my hand resting on the table, which also provides some stability. Okay, so I'm gonna do the flower in the middle pink. The pink is called Wildberry. I'm using all Deco Art Americana matte acrylics. And the reason I chose the filbert tip brush is because of the, the rounded edges of the flowers. I knew the filbert tip would allow me to kind of just loop and go around these little smooth edges pretty easily. It's a little harder to do that sometimes with the other brushes. Okay, so went around the outside, now let's just fill in the middle. Now, I don't try to get out my brush strokes nearly as much when I'm doing flowers. I actually kind of like to keep some of the strokes in there and keep the paint just a little thicker than normal. I think it adds a really cool, like, texture. So it's yellow. This is actually a DecoArt patio paint. I don't know why I had it in my stash, but I like the color. It's sunshine yellow. It's actually the same color I painted my lemons with behind me. Um, and we're just gonna use that to paint these other flowers, and then we'll add some dimension to them. So I think painting is probably gonna be a really good way to pass the time if you're stuck inside your house because painting is cheaper than therapy. It's gonna give you something to keep your hands busy, um, something to kind of pass the time. It's a st good stress reliever. So if you feel like you're gonna be stuck inside the house for a while, you might ought to get you some paints and uh, just craft, craft your blues away. So that could be you too. If you're struggling with, um, you know, feeling like you need something new to do because you're kind of sick of, you know, the same old crafts and you want to try something new, door hanger painting might just become your next new obsession. Because I will warn you, it is highly addicting. It seems like once you paint that first one, you get this like rush of, oh my goodness, this is so cute. I can't believe I made this. And you feel kind of empowered and um, just, just feel really good about yourself. And so you end up wanting to do it again and again. And of course there's always new door hanger designs coming out. And so you always end up finding something new to paint. There's never, never trouble finding inspiration. Okay. What color am I using? I forgot to tell you. Cotton candy. This is called cotton candy. And we're just painting the insides of the bunny's ears. I went back to the flat tip brush for this because these areas are somewhat large and I wanted to fill them quickly without lots of brush strokes. I just keep rotating this thing around. I need to get a lazy Susan or something to paint on top of. 
We don't have to wait for the pink to dry because it doesn't really matter. We're just going to get our light pink that we used inside the ears and we're just going to use that inside this flower here with a little round tip brush and we're going to add some dimension to our flowers. And then we're going to do the same thing with the yellow, but instead with the instead of going lighter with the yellow, I'm going to go darker. I already have this color. This color is called marigold. It's a slightly darker yellow. It's kind of a golden yellow. I'm going to do it in the middle here. There we go. Let me show you up close what we've got going. So see, we took the lighter pink and we did some accents on the dark pink and then we took the golden yellow and did some accents on the yellow flowers. Okay, let's do a slightly darker green to add some accents to our leaves. So, hang on. This one's nearly empty. It's my fa one of my favorite colors of green. I'm just going to use it inside the cap. It's running out so bad, but it's called Hauser Medium Green. And I'm just going to add this to some of these little leaves as an accent. It just kind of adds just a little bit of dimension and depth and that extra little detail sometimes makes all the difference. Okay, I'll show you what I did there. See how I added the dark green? Okay, and you can even add just a little bit of dimension inside the bunny's ears if you like. I'm gonna dip in that darker pink and swirl it into my lighter pink to create kind of an in-between color or just a slightly different shade of pink and then just use it as a like a shadow on the ears so say I mixed the two pinks together and made a little bit of a shadow inside the ears and now you can go back and kind of rinse your brush out a little bit and kind of blend it if you need it to blend out because I did do it a little bit harsh you can blend it out just a little bit with a little bit of a watered down or rinsed out brush Okay, let's add the finishing touches. This is like the largest <laughs> paint pen. It is a 7M bullet tip Uniposca paint pen. And we're gonna use that around the outside edge of this door hanger. May seem counterintuitive because we have black and white stripes, but it's gonna make the whole thing feel polished and finished off. So we're just going to go around the edges and with those etching lines you actually kind of have a guide for how thick to make your line so you can just follow it there we go and then I'm gonna to switch to a skinnier paint pen of white. I think this is the size I want. I think that's the only size white that I have. Um, but this one is just the 3M size. And now we're gonna take it and we're just gonna, well, I gotta pump some more down. It's running out. Draw a little line kind of going up here. It's kind of like a highlight. One over here. And then you can add just a little bit of detail. Just like that. And then you can even add a little bit inside your flowers if you like. I'm just wiggling the paint pen inside the flowers to kind of add just a little bit more detail. Um, I may add just a little bit inside the ears and then I meant to outline the ears too with that big bullet tip one So let's switch back to the big fat. Actually, I probably need to dry that really good because you don't want to get wet paint on your paint pen. Switching back to the bullet tip pen. We're just going to go around the outer edge of these ears And if you're the type of person who can't paint inside the lines or color inside the lines and you struggle, paint pens like this and outlining can make all the difference. It makes things so much easier. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to a mid-size, midway. So we've got small, medium, and large. I'm in the medium size, which is the 
uh, 5M size black paint pen now. And I'm just going to take it and kind of do some outlines and cute little things on our leaves. The only problem is, is my paint isn't 100% dry. And then it gets off on your paint pen. Sorry, I started to get a phone call. There we go. And you're just gonna add just a few little details to your leaves and your flowers. And if you get any paint on your paint pen, just wipe it off on your baby wipe. The only problem is, is it can cause the fibers on your paint pen to stick up, which is kind of annoying. Okay, I think we've just about got it now. What do you guys think? Super cute, isn't it? So I could just see you guys adding this to a really cute little wreath and um, pulling out some really cool black and white ribbon to really make it pop. But if you wanna learn how to paint door hangers or find me over at southernadornmentsdecor.com, that's where I teach you how to paint these little things all the time. I'm gonna be going live on my page tonight at 8 p.m. to paint another Easter design if you wanna come watch then. That one will be a full-size door hanger. So this was just a little taste of it and I hope you enjoyed it.